Making keys to RVs can be a bit of a pain in the butt. I know there's simple locks, there's different keys, there's you're impressioning them, you're spending a lot of time at it. I am a real big fan of this tryout set of keys. And this is the big set that fits the Trimark. So this is for Trimark RVs. It's a master key set and I think some change keys in there maybe. And I've got the uh, FIC, which is an extremely popular uh, RV. So for recreational vehicles, campers, trailers, this is the tryout keys. And they're not expensive. And the guys over at Framen are selling these right now. And I think they got a special on them. I'll put the link here. Uh, it's a great set. It puts all my bits and pieces in one spot and for the price of these keys i'll recover the money the first job i get and i'm going to go right now and test i have a trimark camper lock and it's locked i'm going to uh, a easy to pick of course and yes i can impression it but it's so easy just to stick in the key and try it so uh, rvs have always been a pain in the butt so i've got the trimark set this is the fic which is a very very popular and of course the one i don't have there's a little two key set which is the uh the change key master key set for the global lock so i haven't really run across a lot of globals but i'm going to get the tryout set anyways but again lots of try marks lots of fic's let's go try out the tryout keys and let's see how quick we can make a key here's the camper lock it's a uh, try mark lock very popular uh, you can use a Y11 key, yeah, easy to impression. Sometimes there's even a code on it. But all we got to do really is just take the tryout keys. And again, we do so many of these. And just, you know, we should lube it first. But again, these things are so simple. There's nothing to them. So here we go. There is the key. So here's the key that fits and turns the lock, opens and closes it really easy. Again, these locks are so simple. I'm just going to cut it now. I got a bunch of blanks of these in the service truck. I'm just going to cut it and give it to the customer. So there it is. I, I could use a Y11, but I, I, you know, customers like to have the square keys. So this is a TM, what is that? A TM8? Yeah, it's a TM8. It's so an Ilco number, 1608, or a TM8. Just cut it, give it to the customer, and they are so happy. Give them two keys. So because these locks are so simple, and they have their stuff to protect, we are going to install a pack lock pass on this camper. I don't know exactly where yet and what I'm going to do, but I'm going to install this and uh, then we're going to make it secure. So the really interesting thing with this, this hockey puck lock from pack lock, which is Pacific lock, uh, good guys down there, is the hockey putt lock is actually attached to the has. So, I don't have to worry about losing, the customer doesn't have to, and you don't have to worry about losing the hockey putt lock. It's attached, so this will make this camper very secure, and they should be quite happy about it. So I'll show the uh, follow-up video on installing this pack lock, hockey putt lock, on this camper. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.